How a ketogenic diet reduces ADHD, the mechanisms behind it. Today, I want to tell you about how a ketogenic diet can reduce ADHD symptoms drastically. In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you the biological mechanisms behind it so that if you or someone you know struggles with ADHD, you can implement this diet, give it a shot, or, you know, spread the word and uh, try to get the word out about this because um, it works. <laughs> so uh, who am I? My name is Julie Sad. I am a functional therapeutic diet specialist. That's always hard to say, and it never gets easier. I'm a functional therapeutic diet specialist, ADHD coach, and a holistic wellness coach. And more importantly, I accidentally fixed my brain on keto. <laughs> That's the only qualification that I really care about. Um, so what I want to do is tell you the four main mechanisms by which keto can reduce ADHD symptoms. And here's where it gets a little bit random is that we don't even really know exactly which one it is, if it's all of them, if it's some of them, but here are the four mechanisms that appear to be working. We don't know which one it is. And frankly, who cares if it works, it works. Who cares why? <laughs> um, but let's, let's talk about the mechanism so that you can understand it a little bit more and, you know, decide if this is something that you would like to implement in your life or in the life of, you know, your child or a family member or a friend or boyfriend or girlfriend or dog. Believe it or not, they've done studies on dogs with this and it, it can help dogs with ADHD like symptoms. <laughs> All right. So the first one and what seems to be the main one, kind of the one that's winning the race is that ADHD, along with many, 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 if not all mental, let's call them conditions, seems to be related to an issue with glucose metabolism in the brain. Now there's an excellent book on this called uh, brain energy by Dr. Chris Palmer. If you want to really get into it. Um, but long story short, the brain might be taking too much glucose in, or might not be taking in enough glucose. And this can cause all kinds of problems. And so a ketogenic diet really stabilizes this because you become less dependent on dietary glucose. Your body makes the glucose you need for you and you get off the blood sugar roller coaster too. And the brain just likes it. <laughs> so, so mechanism number one is that it improves the glucose uptake, which, you know, may be broken in some of us. All right. Number two is that it works, uh, to, to optimize levels of neurotransmitters, specifically, uh, dopamine and GABA are two that have been, um, researched and in relation to keto and it, and it would appear that dopamine and GABA levels are improved, meaning that they're, you know, where we want them to be <laughs> when a ketogenic diet is implemented. Not too shabby. Um, another one is the gut microbiome. You know, gut microbiome is all over the place. Everyone loves talking about it. Did you know that people with ADHD have been shown to have a different gut microbiome? And who knows? Definitely more research is needed. Uh, the gut microbiome is still a very, very new field of study. So we're still learning about that, but keto can help with the gut microbiome, get it to be a little bit, let's say better <laughs> functioning more the way it should. So in turn, it can help with that. Um, and the last one is inflammation and oxidative stress. So oxidative stress, you know, is from the stress of, you know, life, it can be a physical stress. It can be a psychological stress. The brain can become inflamed and a ketogenic diet is shown to reduce inflammation in the brain, in the body, wherever you want to look for it. <laughs> Keto can help reduce inflammation. So those are four mechanisms. Let's review. It can help with the glucose metabolism in the brain. It can help with neurotransmitters, specifically dopamine and GABA to name a few. Um, it can help with the gut microbiome and it can reduce inflammation in the brain. So those are four ways that keto can help with ADHD. I have created a little video training that will show you how to get started on therapeutic grade keto. It's the basic kind of default settings that I would use to get somebody started. And it's what I use with my clients when they want to go on keto. So if you're interested, just leave me a comment and I will send it to you in messenger. Thanks so much for listening and have a happy and healthy day and message me if you want that training.